Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Opposition spokesperson on education, Damien Crawford, says the $12 million used to erect Negril's new welcome sign looks like an old-time saving pan and could have been spent on education. The funds came from the government's tourism product development company, whose executive director, Wade Mars, said the sign will serve as a catalyst to attract more visitors to Negril for the photo experience. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is investigating whether a recent death was caused by the monkeypox virus. And five more cases of the disease have been confirmed in Jamaica, pushing the overall tally to 12. Several students of Godfrey Stewart High School in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland, were locked out on Monday reportedly over violations of the school's dress code. Some parents have argued that the uniforms being worn by their children were provided by the school. Teenager Adriana Lang, who sustained severe burns in a Westmoreland house fire that killed her three brothers last week, has undergone three life-saving operations at a hospital in the United States. Adriana is slated to have more operations in the coming days. In sports, the police are investigating a case of theft after the personal belongings of members of St. George's College's Manning Cup football team went missing from the changing room at Kingston's Sabina Park on Saturday. The team had returned from beating Arden 6-0 when they discovered their items missing. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $152.63, the British pound sterling for $177.07, and the Canadian dollar for $118.23. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be mostly cloudy. And that's it for the Cleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.